Within thermochemistry, there is this relationship between pressure, volume, and work. And it's defined by this equation where work is equal to negative pressure times the change in volume. Now, this negative sign does not indicate that pressure is negative. Because if you think about it, how can pressure be negative? It cannot. Pressure is always a positive value. It's either exerted at a high pressure or it's exerted at a low pressure, but pressure itself cannot be negative. This negative is simply a part of the overall formula. Now, this delta V represents the change in volume. So that's going to be V final minus V initial. And that's going to play an important role in just a second. Now, when we talk about pressure and volume, we may already be familiar with this concept of how they're related to one another. Essentially, if we increase pressure, we're going to see a decrease in volume. And if we see a decrease in pressure, we're going to see an increase in volume. So they're inversely related to one another. If I increase the pressure of a balloon, it's going to have less space and the volume is going to decrease. Now let's think about how these two terms relate to work. Now, if I have a small balloon and I inflate it into a larger balloon, my V final is going to be a larger value than my V initial because I started off with a smaller volume and I ended up with a larger volume. And as a result, I'm going to get a positive delta V. So my change in volume is going to be positive. Now, if my delta V is positive, my work overall value is going to be negative. And why is that? So if I have a positive value right over here, a negative times a positive is going to give me a negative. So work is going to be negative. Now, what does that mean? So when work is positive, that means the surroundings is doing work on the system, the system being the balloon. But if work is negative, that means that the system is doing work on the surroundings. So here the balloon is pushing up against the walls of this uh, uh, walls of its balloon. And then as a result, it's doing work on the surroundings rather than the surroundings doing work on the system, which is the balloon. But let's say that I start off with a larger volume of a balloon and I decrease it to a smaller volume. One of the ways I would decrease it is that I could apply pressure to it. So if I apply pressure, we know that if pressure is increasing, volume will decrease. As a result, I have a smaller balloon. So my V final is actually a lot smaller than what I initially started off with. So this is going to give me an overall negative value for my delta V, uh, also my change in volume. So if my change in volume is negative, the work overall is going to be positive. Now, why is that? Because if I have a negative value right over here, a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. So work is positive. And as a result, we can conceptually understand that a positive work value means that the surroundings is doing work on the system. And in this case, the surroundings may be that I applied pressure to decrease the size, the volume of that balloon. And that is essentially the pressure work uh, volume equation. It describes this relationship between work, pressure, and volume. And the key things to really understand is this part over here, because if we know whether vol the change in volume is positive or negative, we can determine whether work is negative or positive, and then we can understand in which direction work is being done. Is it done from the surrounding to the system or the system to the surrounding?